just select the tracker for the AR camera, which is this one, um, and set it as a camera. Then you can switch back to free fly. And when you click the offsets button, you'll see these new arrows that then you can use to align the tracker to your phone. For my camera, the tracker is actually pointing in the same direction as the camera itself. So you can see here this blue arrow is facing the wrong way. So we want to flip around the green like so. The tracker is facing out towards like the cameras over here. So I want to move the camera Uh, the next thing you need to do is start the sidekick. And here in the latest sidekick is a new AR option that you can open. And um, this allows you to record the orientation motion capture plus video at the same time. And what I'm going to do is change the recording duration to about 15 seconds because I think the motion capture is about 15 seconds there. And that's it. So I'm ready to record here. Uh, I have the magnetometer enabled and 60 frames per second recording frame rate to match the frame rate of the motion capture. Stand completely still uh, until after the countdown. Start. All right, so now it's going to upload the video. It's just uh, uploaded and synchronized the video. Uh, the next step would be to export everything to Blender. So after exporting it, you can just load the scene loader. And uh, you see this new node setup these new options here. With these enabled, it will uh, import the localized video and set it up with the compositing nodes. The only thing you have to do is press the run script. Okay, now once that's completed, you see we have a camera in the scene and the avatar, and you see this new uh, video background here in the compositor. One thing you can do is uh, if you want to see the video in the live viewport, you can just click on the camera object. So like highlight the camera, click on the camera um, properties. And under the background image, you can enable that. Uh, just say add image, change it to a movie clip. And then here on the far left, just select the localized MP4. So there's actually a plane in the scene, which I'll delete. Uh, but before deleting it, let me actually kind of bump it up to the wall here so you can see the localization. I'm going to switch this to EV render, turn on the ambient occlusion, switch this to rendered view, and change the brightness of the scene so that it's a little bit more representative of the colors of the, of the video. So I'll just like select the color of the wall, maybe increase the brightness a little bit. That's probably okay for like first render. Let me do one thing, like change the material just slightly, make it metallic. Should be okay. I also want to add motion blur. So bloom first. Okay, so, so now I want to add motion blur because we're trying to mimic the real camera. And finally, just set the output to whatever you prefer. And that's it. Um, one other thing just to keep in mind is just make sure that this quality level is 100% and that this matches the video. Save and render animation.